Ben! Tom! Welcome. Welcome, friend. Welcome back. Wow. Oh my God, it's been a thousand years. Literally a thousand years. Of God. God, we've not streamed together since last year. <gasps> Has it been that long? It's been so long. A whole year. Um, Holy shit. Well, it's good to be back. Hot dog baby. Hot dog! Um, it's Tom and Ben. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a good, um, that's our, that's our new thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, love yep. it. You, you weren't there for the meeting, so. <laughs> <laughs> Just, uh, don't worry, I can adapt uh, on the fly. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah. Uh, so, do you want to show me mm. some of your toy soldiers yeah, yeah. that you painted? Yeah, I did some painting. So, um, what I've done the last few years for, for Christmas is I'll buy, like, I'll buy myself, like, a little battle force or a, or a combat patrol or something, and I'll be like, I'm painting this over Christmas. Um, but this year I didn't. I was a good boy, oh. even though I was very tempted to pick up one of those new battle forces. Mm. Well, I didn't. I said, no, I'm going to go back. Because I have a habit of getting about 90% the way through an army and then just going, oh, but new army. New army's so much more fun. New army's always the better army. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I don't know why I hit, what I, I get about halfway through, then I start feeling the cool of the new army. Mm. And then I'm like, no, power through, power through. And I'll, I'll always just leave like one or two units. Oh. I'd be like, I'm basically done, right? I know, yeah, I know. I can exactly imagine painting that last unit, and therefore it is painted, and therefore I'm finished. Yeah, it'd only take like a couple of hours. <laughs> yeah. Super easy to finish off. I could do that any time. Uh, yeah, Joe, I already have. <laughs> yeah, I know I know that exact that exact logic. <laughs> so this year I went, okay, I'm just going to go back, and I'm going to like just tidy up all those little loose ends that I've left in previous projects. Very cool. Didn't finish them all. But I did make hey, some progress. You made some progress. That's all that matters. So let's have a look. We've got... Um, boop. I picked up a, um, a squad of Death Guard uh, last year when I was playing Chaos Gate. Because I really, really enjoyed doing Grey Knights versus Death Guard. So I bought one box of Grey Knights and one box of Death Guard. And I thought, these are just enough to make kill teams. And I can reenact the computer game oh. IRL with these kill teams. Um, but then, obviously, I never painted them. Because I finished the game, and then there was a new thing. And then there was a new thing with new <laughs> ideas, and <laughs> yeah. So um, I bashed these together in like um, like an evening. They look amazing. And I, they're not my best painted models, but they are the best painted squad I've painted in three hours. The, I think they look fucking rad. I think they're really good. I'm really enjoyed. Because, I mean, the nice thing about Dirty, Dirty Death Guards is... Oh, man. You, you can just be a bit sloppy with them, can't you? And then it looks part of the look. Super get away with it. And yeah, just slam some colors on and then just give the whole thing a wash. Yeah. Super fucking cool. I so think they're great. I got the idea after watching a YouTube video. Someone was saying about how to paint um, white armor. They were doing it on like a sister of a battle. Mm. And um, they made this thing they called marine juice, which is a <laughs> terrible name. Marine juice. So it's, oh, it's, no. it's one third a medium, mm -hmm. one third null oil, and one third Reichland flesh shade. Okay. Um, and that's what I did with these. I sprayed them white, and then I put marine juice on them. Wow. Uh, which sounds fucking gross. Um, and then I gave them a very, very quick light dry brush of white over. And that's what's given us this white armor effect. Oh. It's made them just look real dirty and shaded. It's like very thinned down flesh wash with a bit of black in it. Basically. Yeah, yeah. It's like a slightly darker flesh wash. And it's just made their white armor look just real gross. Um, Amazing. And then that's 90% of the model done. Yeah. So that's why I did them in one evening. <laughs> yeah, holy shit. <laughs> basically didn't have to paint half of the model. Yeah, because um, if you're just blocking out, if they're sprayed white to begin with, and then you're just blocking out, you know, some green, some bronze, uh, yeah. some red and some silver. Uh, and then just come in with some other washes. Like. And even that is just, um, like, all the other colors is just, like, a base coat, a wash, and then a quick dry brush. Like, there's no... F there's nothing to show. Nothing to show here! The... Oh, no. Auto Redactus. <laughs> we got Redactus did. Uh, came in. This is heresy, man. Um, so yeah, and then you just, like, some purple wash. Over what the fuck is wrong with this? <laughs> We are being in inquisitioned here. You're doing heresy. It's literally deleting the files. <laughs> yeah. Like, it is. Like, if I zoom in, is it going to delete that again? 
and then it's gone. <laughs> this is bizarre. Uh, Here we go. Okay, we're back. <laughs> nice. Because I was looking at them in recent files, and I guess they were not becoming recent anymore. Or something. Oh. Uh, I forgot what I was saying now. But yeah, everything else is just like a wash and then a quick dry brush over the top. So it's like just real dirty, real fast. Um, but I love, I love how grimy these guys are. I was going to practice armor chipping on these guys because it's quite a time-consuming process. But I thought it's only seven guys. Yeah, why not? But then I found out I didn't really need to because these armors are already covered in little dings and dents. And I thought adding more than that was actually going to. Don't need, don't need to. Was going to overdo it. So I just wanted to show these off because I'm just pretty happy with how they how they all came out. Yeah, I think they came together really nicely. I think they look great. Like, I've always been tempted by some Death Guard. Mm. Well, I nearly bought that big box of them that came out over Christmas just because they're nice models and it was cheap. Um, but I prefer doing them in white, the old heresy. Oh, box. yeah, yeah, yeah. I really like the, um, like that, that sort of style. Yeah, I don't like that sort of low saturated dark green that they, the Games Workshop does them in because it's just kind of one flat color of the whole model. Yeah. It's kind of boring and you can't rust it up or muck it up without it just blending into it, the green. It can turn a bit. Like spongy. I think it can look really nice, uh, but I, f I think just like this color scheme is just a lot cooler. Uh, just way more, way more fun. Is there anything I can do to make like old bug eyes look a bit cooler? Do you think? Because I just kind of did them black and then gloss varnished them. Mm. Maybe if I give them a dry brush to pick out some of the ridges. I could put a couple of little like speckles, speckles on them. Yeah, we like a few little, little red dots little or something. Dots, uh, but I think I think he's pretty cool. I think he's pretty good. Oh, bug eyes. And then I gave them some um, some zombie lawns to follow them around. Amazing. Oh, I really like the pox walkers. Which I picked up on eBay, because I only needed eight, so I didn't want to buy a big box of 20. Mm -hmm. um, and I found someone who was literally selling eight on eBay, and I was like, oh, bargain, like four quid or whatever. But it means I don't get Dr. Labcoat. Oh, Dr. Labcoat, <laughs> one of my favorites. <laughs> yeah, I was really sad when I realized there's no Dr. Labcoat here. Uh, Dr. Like, Labcoat with his, uh, I guess he would have had a bright red lab coat. He looked pretty jazzy. Well, I did one. I did one guy in orange. I gave him orange trousers. I was going to give them all orange jumpsuits to make them look like I don't know, like convicts or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it turns out the only orange I have is like an airbrush orange. Oh. And I tried okay. painting it on, and it was just like so runny. I was oh, like, oh shit. fuck! I'll just use a red, fine, whatever. Because um, at least then it ties in with them. Um, yeah, like I, I little... kind of like the red. I think it like pops nicely against them. Yeah, too much on him. I need, he needs probably another color on there. Uh, but yeah, real quick and dirty, a couple of hours. But I was really happy with how they came out. I think just getting some washes on there really does the trick. Yeah, like, I think it looks great. Just, you know, coming in and just putting some, uh, you know, like, ready flesh wash just over their boils and stuff. Like, you don't need to be too precise at all, because it's all just weird skin conditions. Yeah, exactly. The spreadier and blobbier, the better, really, right? Uh, so actually being, like, less precise, I think, is actually more good. Mm. Uh, yeah, pretty happy. And then um, nice. I just did another bunch of guardsmen for my for my guardsmen army because it turns out the new codex came out and I read through it and um, you can take infantry squads with two special weapons instead of a special and a heavy weapon. Mm. And so I just bashed up a bunch of melter gun guys and now I've got like four melter gun guys to like drop into the squads. And uh, okay, cool. Let's quickly just bashed out another squad and some extra bits to take the heavy weapons out and uh, they're done. Oh, they look real nice. They're not quite as nice as the first batch, but that's what happens when you batch paint, isn't it? You never quite get the recipes. You know, I think I think uh, they look great. Like no one's kind of really looking too hard at individual guardsman number thirty-seven. No, that's it. When forty of these guys are lined up, you're not going to give a shit that ten of them have got slightly different shade of green on them. Like I think I think it's absolutely absolutely fine, and just having having a whole load of them is pretty cool. It's pretty good. Yeah. There we go. Just a lot of real real speed painted stuff over Christmas. Oh, that's you. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. Very cool. There we go. Um, 